Hello and today we're going to look at Zombicide Green Horde. Now we've already looked at the base box so we're going to be looking at the two big boxes which you can just about see in the background there. Well the first item I've got out of the box is actually from the original Zombicide Black Plague Kickstarter. I wasn't able to pick it up. It is the Zombicide Plastic Token Set. So we've got the nice little coin which I'm missing from my Kickstarter extra box. And then of course all the other tokens in plastic. Really, really nice, uh, excellent little addition, and uh, looks pretty clean design, very similar to the cardboard ones, but obviously in a lovely, resilient uh, plastic for form. And the coin is looking great, particularly with a, a little wash. Well, the next item is also from the original uh, Black Plague set, and it's the Dead Eye Walkers. Now, these have been pretty hard to come by, so when they um, came out I was very very pleased to see um, them as an option on the Green Horde Kickstarter so 20 Dead Eye Walker miniatures, 6 zombie cards and 1 rules flyer. So I've got the box open and although you get loads of cards there's only a few you're actually going to be interested in which are these English language ones or of course if English isn't your language of choice one of the foreign language cards so uh, let's pop those over here out of the way so for these, let's move this back so it stays in focus here. So for these, as you can see, you've got card 99 through to 104 and <laughs> pretty much Dead Eye Walkers on every single card. I'm not sure you get anything else. So depending on your level, you get anywhere from three to six Dead Eye Walkers, for example. So that's the cards for summoning um, your walkers. The minis themselves uh, actually look pretty good. Um, I'm not sure I 100% agree with the concept of zombie archers. Uh, it implies a little bit too much intelligence maybe. Um, let's see, can we get a slightly higher contrast? There it is. So here you go, let's try this. So this in theory is like an undead elf I think. He's got a little bit of a pointy ear and hopefully the light's not mucking things up too much there for you and you can see the lovely detail on this figure there has got a nice bit of rib cage showing there um, yeah nice nice mini I quite like that and um, yeah, quite a strong curve on his bow there so that's uh, one of the types of figures and you get one two three four five six seven of those so it looks like it's about seven of each is it uh, maybe not quite as many as that. Anyway, um, I think you only get six of the other two looking at it. So this guy here, which is, I guess, this guy in the background here, he's got a little bit of hair going on, a dagger and a bow. It's quite a nice little pose, that. Yeah, not bad. Very happy with that. As I say, six of that one. And then, finally, uh, the guy on the front here, Yeah, lovely. And the artwork has been translated into the minis in the normal Simon style. Um, obviously, you know, these are softish um, plastic, a bit bendy, a bit of hot water treatment every now and then. But yeah, really impressive set of figures. Very happy with those. Uh, as I say, though, um, whether I like the idea of the, the thematics of. Um, you know, zombies having bows, that's a different story, but you know, it's a game and the minis are great. And so here we are with the final thing that I'm absolutely certain is from Black Plague, the 3D doors. Uh, again, I was pretty impressed with the Massive Darkness one, so I decided to pick these ones up. They come with plain grey box bases plus multicoloured ones with three types of door designs. I also have a 3D printable model of these so I should be good for doors and there's 27 doors. Uh, I'm not going to bother opening this up um, because I want to get to the main meat of the video which is all the stuff that you actually get with Green Horde. Now I do apologise if some of the bits I'm pulling out of the box are actually from Black Plague these three initial items, as far as I'm aware, are the only ones that you could have got from Black Plague. Now this is the content of just one of the boxes, so uh, probably the most boring item in some ways, but also the most exciting, the tile set, which will give you an extra set of tiles for your own custom dungeon crawling. So really useful for 
D and D campaigns and um, you know customer zombie side scenarios. The other thing that's interesting is this massive darkness crossover pack, which uh, I guess is going to let you um, make massive darkness get even more content. Um, and it'd be nice to see them do something with Massive Darkness, maybe a second edition to improve the rules a bit like I think they improved Zombie Side by the move to Black Plague. Then there's a couple of Kickstarter exclusive E type things. So um, I believe these two little chaps here are Liam and North of the Halfling. I believe these guys are Kickstarter exclusive, so we we'll have to have a look at those. Fatty Bursters, Black Plague Ultimate Survivors, which uh, are like upgraded versions of the core heroes, if I remember correctly. Uh, Sean Murray with his rather nice looking uh, characters. I particularly like the Fishman character. He looked pretty good. Uh, then Adrian Smith, always great to see Adrian Smith uh, stuff. Uh, I really do like his stuff and this does remind me of the hate minis which uh, is a game I really like the look of from a minis point of view but uh, I decided not to back it in the end then we got Paul Bonner here with his uh, rather nice designs and he's got this rather ridiculous crag was it Kirag and Thorg character so that's really over the top then we've got the Agent Smith uh, set here Rat King and Swamp Troll so a couple more baddies and those rats look particularly uh, gribbly, um, so definitely looking forward to seeing those. Then we've got the plastic obstacles and the plastic hedges. So quite a lot of stuff to get through, so I think I'm going to break up this video and uh, we'll have a look at some of the stuff here and we'll see whether it's you know one, two or three videos I end up having to do, because I've also got a load of stuff in this box over here. Which... So here we've got the obstacle set, which Oh, no sellotape to defeat me here. Gives us some, you know, pretty decent hedges and, of course, some barricades. Now, I can't remember, did I get two? No, I don't think I got two of these sets. I wish I had because these barricades are pretty cool. Um, so let's move that back. So, as you can see, it's, you can stand the barricades in all sorts of uh, orientations and it. Uh, seems to sit pretty comfortably so now I just need to stick this back on and get that back in the box okay. worry about that in a bit then there's also the plastic hedges which unfortunately I think I ordered a set of hedges and then they threw in a free set to the Kickstarter and they're just more of the the same of the other stuff so again a little bit of a wash on this will really make the detail pop and um, yeah they're they're pretty nice hedges. Now here we've got some fatty bursters. Now I can't remember if these are in the base book or the expan base box or the expansion, but we've got some extra kind of fat, grotesque, orcish bursters. Um, that is pretty gross. Um, they lovely figures. They're going to paint up great. These would work really well as a sort of a conversion potential for a Nurgling army if you're into your 40k. So yeah, good stuff. Um, now inside the box, uh, hiding away, we're also these cards here. So the rules and then the summoning cards. So quite a few nothing in sights. So that's interesting. Um, so extra activation to all fatty bursters on the board then spawns one in the indicated zone so yeah okay well nice little bit of blurb on the back here so don't hide from curiosity throw open the door well unless you hear zombies behind it so a little bit of blurb about who north is let's get inside the box well here's north he's a sort of barred halfling really nice mini do like that so here's his little character sheet here uh, come on focus focus right there you go so he can hold a torch he's got plus one search plus one action and then either combat or slippery and then a free move or lucky so yeah, he's an interesting little character, and uh, I do like the mini. So here you go, a little beauty shot for you of North the Halfling. 
So he's got his little lyre there, and then on his back, a bow, an axe, a sword, and his quiver. So really, really good job on this mini. Um, definitely worth picking up. Just Okay, so we've got Liam here. Now the Liam Mini, um, I'm not so keen on, it's quite a dramatic pose but this long thin sword is a little bit bendy and if you were to paint it I do worry a bit about how uh, robust your paint's going to need to be. Um, there's not so many interesting bits on him but yeah, he's not a bad Mini, don't get me wrong. Um, but anyway, let's have a look at his character card. So let's try and get this nicely focused for you. So Liam, uh, he can have a curd dagger. He's got zombie link, which is a pretty nice ability. Plus one action, uh, and then damage or slippery, free combat action or free move action or uh, rotten. So yeah, um, interesting character. Um, I'm not sure. He he might be quite good in play. Um, possibly a bit better than our halfling fella, but uh, I actually do prefer the halfling mini to this rather dynamic pose but yeah not not so sold on this again though perfectly acceptable mini as i've come to expect from uh, the black plague series uh, i think next we're going to open up both the adrian smith box so we have this rather wonderful swamp troll with his anchor um he's got sort of a sharky fin thing going on on his back which is a bit interesting that's uh zoom in on that for you Ooh, having a bit of focus problems there you go right so yeah interesting some skulls some tasteful algae in the relevant areas yeah not a bad little finicker then we've got the rat king who has got all sorts of lovely gribbly details on him and he's got a nice giant rat that he's stroking his own little favorite pet and he's tipping out a load of rats from the bucket really really nice and then he comes with what is it one two three four five six rat swarms which are wonderful and i'm surprised in some ways the the rat swarms haven't come out earlier and then you get a load of cards for the rat king and the swamp troll if i can pick them up well, we have the Lord of Skulls, who is a necromancer, and he's got something weird coming out of a, a pouch here, holding on to his staff, which is a little bit freaky, and he has his own little set of rules and cards standing on some skulls. Yeah, and then he's accompanied by some abominations. So, is it going to refocus for me? No, it isn't. Right, okay. So, he's got these two abominations with him, and who are they? They are Doom and Gloom. So, I believe this is Doom and this is Gloom. So, yeah, nice minis. Um, if the hate minis are as good as these, I think anyone who picks up uh, that game is going to be very happy with the minis. Um, so, yeah, lovely artwork by Adrian Smith nice set of minis I'm quite happy with both of these sets and um, having a variant necromancer has always got to be good for a game based around dealing with necromancers someone in their lovely zombie friends and you can just about see on the box cover our little guy who's holding on to the staff so you can use the cover imagery to help paint up your figures if uh, you're into that sort of thing for zombie side I always think about painting it up and I always mention maybe in the future oh dear I've just crushed them anyway so this box is the Sean A. Murray special guest box and it's three heroes and a villain by the looks of it now I really like this set uh, you've got this character here Innsmouth who is a necromancer who basically seems to just block line of sight into his zone then we've got Spellborn and let's get these the right way around. Spellborn, Kendra, and then Bumbala. Uh, so sp this kind of shaman character, he's a nice sculpt. Rendra, or Kendra, Kendra. Um, yeah, not bad with his little pistol, or her little pistol. And then this guy is just fantastic. I really, really like him. Let's see, can we get the camera to focus in on him? No. Uh, 
Anyway. So there you go, that's this set. So a Necromancer of Three Heroes, quickly look at their stack cards. So Spellbones, so he's lucky. He's got an action and then a dice roll magic or zombie link. Free magic action, roll a six for plus one magic die and rotten. And he can hold a ghost sight scroll. Kendra can hold a telekinetic blast and they are slippery. And then they've got an action and then either free magic attack or plus one melee and then either plus one melee, plus one free move or plus one magic dice roll and then Birumbawa I think it is so starts with the lightning bolt spell oh sorry a lightning ball spell and can hold it here so that's pretty cool uh, plus one action, plus one magic, plus one range uh, plus one magic, plus one free magic and point blank so yeah he's pretty cool character I do like him I'm gonna to have to try him out I wonder if he might be a bit overpowered with C he probably makes a lot of noise but yeah really cool mini and um, love the, love the artwork and I do like this Innsmouth fellow so my final special guest box is Paul Bonner 2 so let's get inside have a look at this and it's got three heroes plus a baddie included Right, well, we've got the box open and we've got Fowlin, who's a sort of very Lord of the Ringsy uh, goblin. Reminds me of one of the characters from, uh, I think it's uh, Capturing the Hobbit scene. And then we've got Carol Black Oak with her Warhammer. Then we've got Tola, this orc with his impressive sword. And then uh, I'm going to just see if I can get these in shot. We've got Thorg and Kirag, who come with their own set of rules, and two hero sheets. And look at the size of that mini, it's ridiculous. I mean, this is your standard human, and then you've got this little dwarf, rather overcompensating, riding on the back of this character. I mean, it's brilliant. Let me just try repositioning this, so... Look at that, that is madness. What a fantastic mini that is. Um, it's a little bit big, sadly, which is a little bit of a problem, but lots of lovely detail. Painter's dream, probably, uh, to get this done. And I love the sort of carved uh, horns there. Really, really nice. So, Fallon, the uh, necromancer, he's basically a normal necromancer, but he causes two damage to anyone who's in the same zone as him, whether you enter into it or he enters it into your zone. So you want to stay away from this guy. Now Tola, they can hold a Norse sword in their armour slot and they've got plus one damage in melee, plus one action and then either Barbarian, Bloodlust melee and then either one die in combat, one free melee action or shove, so that's quite a nice little ability. Then our Black Oak, she's got a Dwarven Hammer in her armour slot. She's got Collector Runner, plus one action and then either Collector Fatty, Reaper Melee, and then either free combat action, charge, or Collector Walker. So you can actually use her, I guess, to tank uh, your zombies in. I need to double check the collect uh, thing. Then we've got this little rules uh, card here for our two friends. So we've got Kirag uh, has no move. He will move with Tharg, and you've got either plus one action. Born Leader, Max Range, Brothers in Arm Combat, Brothers in Arms Free Combat Action, or Brothers in Arm Iron Hide. And then this guy, Thorg, he can hold a Dragon Bile. Free Move Action and carries Kirag. Plus one action, Jump, Slippery, Brothers in Arm Damage, Brothers in Arm Combat Die, and Brothers in Arm Combat Action. So yeah, very interesting box. I like this move from Cool Mini or Not, and the sculpts are really, really nice. So that's pretty much it. So just one final box to open. So in this box we have the Black Plague Ultimate Survivors. And as it says, travelling far and wide, we realised the old world, along with its old rules, crumbled under the zombie assault. The infected caught us all by surprise, but a few of us survived. We were almost free to create a new world with new rules. Almost. First, we have to end this war once and for all. So many zombies. So much fun. Well, here they are in all their glory. So who have we got? We've got Anne, Samson, Sula, Silas, Baldrick, uh, Clovis and Nelly. 
you might recognize these characters from other zombie side games and I love uh, the spell effect that looks great the dwarf is epic Th these are wonderful sculpts um, really really impressed with this and Anne, one of my favorites from the original game she looks really great uh, really upgraded herself uh, Clovis he's he's fun although I'm not sure about the double sword pose uh, being in that angles great it's a little bit flat um, obviously Silas suitably epic bow and really digging Samsung he's looking really heroic there yeah really nice set of sculpts and definitely worth picking up just for the minis let alone anything else so Samson here he can have a hammer he's got charge and iron hide and then plus one action and then you can upgrade him with combat dice roll barbarian and then melee free combat action and if you roll a six get an extra dice and she can hold a shield she's got bloodlust melee and iron hide plus one action and then either free melee action spell caster or uh, on the red level damage in combat free combat and plus one dice roll in combat Baldrick, he can hold a enhancement uh oh, sorry enchantment and he's got plus one die in combat and is a spell caster and then either plus one action free combat action spell book plus one die magic plus one free combat action and plus one die roll to combat then we can hold a longbow and then we've got plus one max range plus one die roll ranged plus one action plus one free ranged action marksman free combat action on rain and roll a six for plus one die rain so he's a real ranged monster then nelly can hold a dagger plus one free move action lifesaver plus one action bloodless melee shove free combat action plus one die roll in combat and minus Oh, sorry, no, plus one zone per move. Okay, interesting. And then finally, but not last and least, Clovis, a shield with plus one melee taunt. He's got plus one action, free melee action, brother in arms, plus free combat action, plus one to dice roll in combat, brother in arms, plus free combat action, and hit and run. So really nice set of upgrades, and the minis, as I've already mentioned, are pretty epic very very happy with this box well that's it for this video so in the next series of videos the horde box no rest for the wicked and friends and